Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Is that thing on? It's on. Sure? Yeah, it's on. Welcome to Single Take Saturday, where today we're doing The Pink. So much for single take Saturday. <laughs> it's freaking habitual. So here we are, second take Saturday. Second take Saturday. Mm-hmm. God, that knocked the wind out of my sails. It's all good. It's all good. It's very important if you have a dark bar when you're reaching for a juice. That you can see it. And you get the right juice. <laughs> so, welcome to Bikini It's All. What are we making today? The painkiller. Properly? With pineapple juice this time? Orange juice this time. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine this, right? You're sailing the BVIs, British Virgin Islands, right? Mm -hmm. And you roll up on White Bay, and there's this beautiful bar, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Called the Soggy Dollar Bar. Soggy Dollar. And they don't have a dock. That's why it's called the Soggy Dollar. If you're going to freaking go to this bar, guess what? You're swimming. Or a dinghy? So, uh, you can kind of pull the dinghy up, but still, you got to jump in the water to get the dinghy up. True, true. So, I've heard conflicting stories on this one. Some people say that Daphne Henderson made this drink, but George and Marie Myrick are also credited for this one. Okay. Because in 1987, the St. Petersburg Times, which is a paper in the BVI's, did a write-up on the Soggy Dollar, and they listed the recipe for this drink. Oh, okay, okay. But when they did the write-up, it calls for a Jamaican rum mm -hmm. and an unspecified light rum, maybe like the Havana Club up there. Mm -hmm. And then, for about 300 years, Mm -hmm. The British Royal Navy must have been the best freaking Navy in the world to be in. Why is that? Because every single day they gave them a ration of rum. That sounds lovely. July 31st on 1970, they put an end to that practice, though. Mm -hmm. About 10 years later, mm -hmm. these guys, pussers, roll onto the scene, and what they did was they took a take on the Navy rum, and they made a recipe that paid tribute to it. Oh. So that's what this is, is pussers. And... They're probably going to sue us. Why is that? Because they trademarked the painkiller. Ooh. Yeah, you're not allowed to say that word. And if you're going to make it, you got to use this. Otherwise, guess what? They come knocking. Uh, there was a bar in New York that was actually called Painkiller. It was named after one of the, you know, legendary tiki drinks. Mm -hmm. Just like Three Dots and a Dash or the mm -hmm. Jungle Bird. Jungle Bird's going to be our next video, by the way. And they sued them. They opened in 2010 and 2011. These assholes freaking sued them, and they had to change their name to PKNY. That sucks. Oh. So what do you say we get down and we start making this? Okay. Are we going to get sued? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> I don't have a jigger, though. Well, let's because get that jigger. Because it's second jigger. take Saturday. It's still in the truck. <laughs> All right. Maybe this time we'll actually include the orange juice, huh? Let's see what it tastes like with the orange juice. So, four ounces of pineapple juice. All shaken up. With this jigger, that's two pours. That's a good jigger. Now it's very important. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. <laughs> use orange that you juice. use the right freaking juice. <laughs> One ounce of orange juice. I'm so excited. Now I get two drinks. <laughs> This stuff can be kind of hard to come by. This is Coco Lopez. What this is, is this is a coconut cream with um, some spices and a good bit of sugar in it. Uh, this coconut kind of gets buried in the mix. Michelle mm -hmm. doesn't like coconut, but mm -hmm. guess what she likes? Painkillers, because... It's the... so very minute, so subtle, that I don't really taste it. It's supposed to be one ounce, but I keep this stuff in the fridge, so I just dollop about an ounce in there. Oh, geez, it's good with a spoon. Two ounces of pussers, and I just broke my pussers cap. We got this. Bam! See? Guess what other overproof cap I broke? Yeah, I was going to use this because screw these assholes, but... Bleep, bleep. So when pussers trademark this drink, mm -hmm. the internet does what the internet does best. And you know what they do, right? They freak out and they troll. Oh, yes. So there was a huge backlash mm -hmm. and for a long time people were boycotting pussers and all this other jazz. Um, a lot of people make it with this Ray and Nephew overproof mm -hmm. because they hate pussers so much. But to me, for it to really be a painkiller and to not get sued, we're going to make it with pussers today. All right. 
So I actually prefer it with Pusters. I've had it with the Rain and Nephew a couple of times. It's all right. I mean, it does the trick. The rum's kind of buried in this drink anyways. But to really be a painkiller and to not get sued, we'll use Pusters. So here we go. We got it all in this glass, and now because there's coconut cream in here, you gotta shake the freaking bejesus out of this oh, thing. Oh yes. I got a bunch of small cubes and a big cube in here. Let's go to it. Oh, I thought you were gonna keep going. <laughs> You want to tell us about our tiki mug today? This is a Kamani tiki mug. We got, um, and it's from Tiki Tiki Farm. It, and we got it from downtown at an uh, art gallery that is, uh, not art gallery, actually. It's an antique shop. Antique shop downtown. And its name is Kamani from the Tiki Farm. Here we go. Pour this straight in there. We don't do any of that fancy straining. It goes right over the dirty ice right into the glass. If you want to get all fancy and strainy and dirty ice, don't even bother coming to bikini at all. <laughs> now for garnish, a little bit of fresh nutmeg. Smells good. Now this is just going to give you that real mm. pungent aromatic right on the nose when you take your first sip. I, I can smell it from here. And the only thing I don't like about this is the damn mess it leaves on the bar. <laughs> Where I can sneak this straw in here. Uh oh. Oh, I think we got it. Why don't you go ahead and give that a try? All right. On second take Saturday. Second take Saturday. <laughs> so, technically, I'm about to get drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Came out yummy? Oh, very good. Very, I'm going to take a second sip before. Oh, this is so good. If I give that a try? You do. You do. Oh, that nutmeg really freaking. Yeah. That nutmeg is off the chain. Mm. It tastes like a proper painkiller with the right juices in it. Mm. I like the other one too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but thanks for joining good. us, guys. Next time, we'll, uh, what drink Did are we going to do next? Jungle, what is it? Jungle? The Jungle Bird? Bird. Jungle Bird. Which is a take on a modern tiki. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.